This is how I find proven designs that are going to sell on Etsy when we upload them to the platform. This isn't guessing. We're going to take the guesswork completely out of this. This software will help you find proven designs that will sell if you improve upon them like I'm going to show you here. So first and foremost is just browse around. There's many ways to find proven designs on Etsy, but browse around, search for something that you think is cool or something that's trending. Just put a keyword into the search or even search on the homepage. Then what you're going to do is you're going to browse around until something catches you your eye and you essentially just want to find a successful store that's selling well already with different designs. I found this one, this rainbow punch Kool-Aid shirt. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and see if this person actually has good sales. You could do that for any number of these ones on the homepage. So if we just like opened all these, what we would do is we'd scroll down to the seller and future minds, the seller of this. So let's check out their shop. 1700 sales, not terrible, but could be a lot better. This one right here, this butter finger shirt which is clearly a trademark so don't sell this joseph's the owner of this one at shark and hammer 21,000 sales so this is a good shop show you a few more wavy goods 4,000 sales almost 5,000 sales so a decent shop and this one right here lulu merch almost 21,000 sales so again a pretty decent shop and so what i used to teach people to do is once you find a shop you either want to come down and click the sales here because if they're sharing their sales then it's clickable and you can see exactly what's sold or if if their sales aren't clickable, then you just want to scroll all the way to the bottom of their shop because you can see what's been reviewed recently. And typically speaking, if it's been reviewed recently and it has a good rating, then you know it's sold recently. And then you just want to mimic those designs, create your own spin off of them, but improve upon them. But while that works, this works even better. So when you're on a shop that actually has a lot of sales, I've been using a software called Everbee and it's been an absolute game changer. So if you're on Everbee, once you obviously sign up for Everbee, and you connect your shop, you can do that automatically by just clicking the button that says connect shop. Once you sign up for it, you then want to run product analytics when you're on a shop. And what that's going to do is it's going to show you things like the monthly sales, the monthly revenue, the total overall sales. One of my favorite things, the listing age, because you know, for example, if something's selling well and it's created a month ago, well, that's a design that you want to go after because there's a reason that person created that. It's still fairly fresh. So you can also rank something similar, most likely versus if something were, you know, two years old and they were ranked already, then that might not necessarily be the best product to go after because maybe this person's been ranked for a while and hence why they have a bunch of sales. So listing age is absolutely crucial as well. How many favorites, how many average reviews, the category, which again can be crucial if you're trying to niche down or, you know, stay within a specific niche or category and the visibility score for that list which again is going to help you because if you decide to create a design that's very similar to one of these, like I'm going to show you, and it has a good visibility score, then chances are you want to take a lot of their SEO and then again, improve upon it. We're all about using what's working, finding what's selling for other sellers, just like I'm showing you, but then um, improving upon it, right? We want to improve upon it, but we're also going to take their SEO and the core tenets of their design, right? We're not copying, but we are using it as creative inspiration and also the conversion rate and other good metrics. So what I'll do initially is I might sort for monthly sales up here. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell you all their best selling designs. And then we can start from there, right? And this works so much better because for example, if you're on their shop page, even if you click their sales or you scroll all the way down, just because something was purchased recently or has a review recently, that might be an indicator that it's sold recently, but it might be like their 50th best selling design or their 30th best selling design, right? And so we want to see the numbers. We want to see what's their best selling design. And we're going to slowly reverse engineer from there, figure out what's selling well and what we should go emulate and create our own version of. So let's check this first one right here. And we're going to click on the right. It's going to tell us all the keywords that they're ranking for the specific competition on that based on the search volume and how many competitors are trying to rank for that keyword. It's also going to tell you again, all the good stuff when you click on it. So like the conversion rate, the visibility score, the monthly sales, the monthly revenue. But then again, you can click on the actual shirt here and that's going to take you to the listing. Now this is in demand. Two people bought it in the last 24 hours, but this is where people get hung up and they just copy this design or they make a design very similar to this. You need to take it one step further. So to recap already, you want to find a successful seller shop, then you want to analyze their best selling designs using the product analytics from Everbee and Everbee's linked in the description with a discount code if you want it. But then you're going to take it one step further and you're going to manually check those top keywords and find a listing that is not super saturated already based on those main keywords. Then you're going to create a similar design. You're not going to copy it exactly, but instead we're going to improve upon it. We're going to use their SEO. We're going to use their keywords. And then it's just simply rinse and repeat the process, right? So how would we approach 
approach this. Well, we found a successful design. This is this seller's best selling design. So what we do is we might search Kool-Aid 84, which again, you probably have to be careful with, with trademark infringement here, but just to kind of show you an example, this is a listing that I'd stay away from anyway, just because of that. Kool-Aid 84. Let's see if it's super saturated and there's a lot of other people creating designs on it. It looks like there are some, yeah, there's plenty of people already creating designs. So I would say that this is saturated as you can scroll down and see the list of other people that are all selling this product or something very, very similar. Now, so let's go to the next one, make America great again. And this looks like it's Britney Spears. Paris Hilton and uh, Lindsay Lohan. Very strange. So let's take Make America Great again, but we'll type in like Britney Spears into the Etsy search. Because again, you want to stay relatively broad. If we just took Make America Great again, well, it's going to give us a bunch of like Donald Trump shirts, right? Which is too broad. So if we just take like one more specific thing in there, we can kind of check to see if it's selling well for a decent amount of people, but there's not enough saturation in it. So if we type like Make America Great again, 90s shirt or Make America Great again, Britney Spears shirt, and we'll see what pops up there. So a couple of these, this is just a Britney Spears shirt. That's not the same. That's a Trump shirt. Here we have a few of these shirts. So make America great again, Britney Spears. There's a few here, a few here. So if we typed in Britney Spears, make America great again, see what pops up. And it looks like a lot of these are Trump merch, but you do have a few of them sprinkled in here. So it's not super saturated, definitely not as saturated as the other one here. Although there are several people making designs. So this could be a fairly new design because if you look, this person created it four months ago, so it might potentially still be rankable. It's getting an average of 54 monthly sales at $33, so we could make something similar, improve the SEO, improve the design slightly, and maybe undercut them at like $29.95 and get some sales while we rank our listing. So let's check just to make sure that some of these top people are actually selling. So we'll grab a few of these, grab the top eight here, and we'll just run the numbers on them. Now, another thing you'll notice is you can analyze the listing on Etsy by just clicking this analyze listing button from Etsy ever be. It's another cool thing about the software. So if we analyze the listing by clicking this button, again, it's going to tell us how many sales are there. This has an average. You can't really see it. I apologize because Z drops kind of in the way with all these red buttons here. But if you can see it right there, it says 54 and average monthly revenue. It looks like of almost 2000. It looks like it's 1799. So this is probably the same shop at Lulu. It is Lulu merch. So they're ranked first on this. The second one right here again is in demand. Three people have bought it in the last 24 hours. Hours, so we know that this design is selling well if we can rank for it, which again is encouraging because if we create something better and then we also run some cheap Etsy ads to it, we can rank top of search there and steal some of the sales while we rank our listing and then potentially get free sales organically in the future if we're ranked in the top, you know, 10 per se. So let's run the analyzed listing here. This is 21 monthly sales. This one right here, eight monthly sales. So it slowly gets worse and worse as you go down. This one has zero and this one probably has zero, but it does have 10 views in the last 24 hours and it's two months old. So it does look like the top ones right there are selling, but as it kind of gets a little bit lower, it starts to taper off. But one of the things that you will notice as well is that yes, this one's selling decently, this one's selling decently, and this one's selling decently as the top three search results, but none of them are running any ads. This one doesn't have an ad. This one doesn't have an ad. The only ads that we see here are this Britney Spears shirt right here. That's completely unrelated. It's just broad Britney Spears. And then this one right here, same thing, broad Britney Spears. None of these other ones are running any ads. So if we created this listing and we improved upon it, we stole their SEO and then we ran an ad for like a month, we might be profitable on the ad. We might not. But even if we broke even on the ad, we would potentially rank and steal a lot of these sales as we would slowly come up the search results. And we might rank one, two or three in the near future by simply just shortcutting the process that way. So for example, if I was going to take this listing and recreate it right here, we would simply just find this picture or something very, very similar. Maybe we'd even take a different picture of similar people like Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and I don't even know who else was like a good singer. I guess Lindsay Lohan, maybe I can't think of any like girl singers in the 90s that aren't popping into my head for some reason, but you get the picture, a different picture, right? Because everybody's using this picture. And then we would just say like, make America great again, maybe with like a cool 90s logo or like a retro logo or something like that in colors, right? And you might be sitting there thinking like, that's really difficult or it's going to take me a lot 
of time or maybe I don't know how to do that myself, right? Well, you can learn Photoshop very, very easily or you can even use Canva 100% free. Again, you can watch a few YouTube tutorials and learn Canva or Photoshop very, very easily, at least the basics where you can create these designs. Or what I did, if you're not good at creating designs in the beginning and I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning, then you can simply hire somebody to do it yourself. And you might be saying like, whoa, stop, Brian, that can get expensive. But I did an entire video on how I was able to find graphic designers super cheap to create these designs for me at just $2 an hour. And that was initially how I scaled my shop so fast. And I've hired a lot of virtual assistants in my day, but this guy that I hired was the best person that I've ever hired for the price. He absolutely killed it. And would just pump out design after design for me, high quality. That'll be linked in the description if you wanna check that video out. And if you'd like a full step-by-step -step course on how to succeed with Etsy Print On Demand, you can access it for just $15 through the discount link in the description. Really hope this helps. Try it out. Everbee's a game changer.